I am making beet kvass, something you've probably never heard of, but that I have in my refrigerator all winter long. It's a fermented food, so that makes it a terrific addition to anything else that you might be taking that's a probiotic, which of course enhances your immune system. So this is super easy to make. You take, a, this beet is enormous, so we're not going to use the whole thing, but you want about a cup of beet. So I'm going to chop this monster up. And you don't want to chop it up really small. You want it into decent sized sections. And beets are one of my favorite superfoods. They are liver loving. They actually regenerate the liver cells. Anything that helps your liver helps your entire system because without your liver, you're really up the creek. You, your liver does a lot more than you might be aware of. So that's about a, well, that's a little less than a cup. Let's see. Your liver assists with dige digestion. Your liver helps to process where the foods that you eat go. And it also is involved in breaking down foods for energy. That's about how much we want. This is a two quart jar. To that, I am adding a little bit of carrot, because carrot's full of vitamin A. I'm adding garlic, a big powerhouse. Antibacterial, this is fantastic. And I'm gonna chop up a little bit of ginger, which of course is anti-inflammatory. And I like to also add celery leaves to it. It just gives it a nice flavor. And celery also is one of those overlooked foods. It's also antibacterial and it's a diuretic. So eat celery whenever you can. A little bit of orange for some added vitamin C. And the secret ingredient, a quarter cup of whey. Now this whey has been sitting in my refrigerator for a couple of days and it came out of a container of yogurt like this. And you can see that's the whey in there, the liquid. And when you let it sit in the refrigerator for a few days, the solids separate. You want to make sure that you've got just the clear way going into that because otherwise it takes on a creamy texture. And a teaspoon of salt. Beautiful Himalayan pink sea salt. And water to cover. Then what you're going to do is leave it out for three days and let the microbes do their magic. They're going to start the fermentation process, but it can also stay in the refrigerator once it's done for, oh, at least a month. But this is what it looks like to start, and we'll be back in three days to see how it looks. I forgot to tell you, you need to keep, you need to let your beet kvass breathe. So, this is just a little piece of paper towel over the top of it. You can use cheesecloth or anything that will let the oxygen in and keep any dust or bugs, anything out. But in between, at least once a day, you want to put the lid on and give it a shake because this is the kvass at day two. So we still have stuff floating on the top and we have a lot of stuff on the bottom. But when you give it a shake, it gets a little more evenly distrib distributed and we still have a little bit of time to go. So we'll be back on day, I think we're actually going to give it an extra day. So if this is day two, we're going to be back on day four. It's day four and the beautiful beet kvass is ready to drink. You can still see through it a little bit, but you can't see my hand through it anymore. 
So this is going to go into the refrigerator and it's going to continue to get darker every day until it's like almost thick. It's just wonderful. And I'm going to show you how much you drink every day. So we still have a little bit floating on top. And this is about it, a half a small glass. The most dominant smell, of course, is the garlic. But you can definitely taste the beet and the celery. It's almost um, just like a vegetable broth. Beet kvass to your health. 